So good to be with you again uh, today from, uh, from Mary's Field. I'd like to begin with a, a, a more of a, a difficult, challenging piece of, uh, of information today and then uh, end up with a little something that hopefully will really touch your hearts. As an aside, I, I, a, de- a study uh, from the United Kingdom came across my desk uh, yesterday, and I'd just like to share that uh, with you. The study that uh, concluded that couples who follow the traditional mode of waiting to have children until after they're married have a profoundly better chance of staying together than those who have children uh, be, who, those who have children before getting married there's really no right way to do the wrong thing and we, we we keep trying to do that to kind of put square pegs into round holes and to end up with something that's right while only 24 percent of the couples who got married before having children split 56 percent of the couples who got married after having babies broke up and 69% of those who never married, uh, according to the study, uh, 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 a, br- a breakup. So uh, put another way, looking at the data from the other side, 76% of mothers who married before having children were still with their spouses, while only 44% who married after children could say the same. And just 31% of those who never married we're still together. You know, again, there's just no right way to do the wrong thing, and we continue to try to do that, uh, to somehow or other do the things that, that, that the culture is promoting and then try to get results that are normal, and it, it just doesn't work. It simply doesn't seem to work. Into the king's court, uh, there came a man of, of low intelligence and, and, uh, and a kind of a strange personality each day. And the man would give the king a, a piece of fruit. And the king would take the piece of fruit, and being a nice man, he would thank him, give it to his uh, aide next to him, and the aide would take the fruit and ultimately put it out behind the castle in a, in a, in a pile of garbage. And this went on for two years. The man would come in give the king a piece of fruit. He'd say thank you very nicely and patiently and so on. And after two years, uh, one day, a monkey got loose in the harem. And the monkey came in, and before the, the, the man was able to exchange the fruit with the king, the monkey grabbed the fruit, took a bite out of it, and a beautiful jewel fell on the floor. And the king, thinking for a moment, screamed out, There are jewels hidden in the fruit. And so he sent one of his uh, servants out behind the castle and there to go through the, the pile of fruit that was rotting and found a pile of beautiful gems, of beautiful diamonds, and, uh, and uh, couldn't believe it. The moral of the story is clearly, you know, inside of each of us is a jewel. It is a diamond. You know, there's something special inside of us, and we need to discover that jewel. We need to kind of hold it. We need to uncover it. We need to polish it, and we need to then celebrate and share it with others. When I taught in high school, every once in a while, I would tell the students, every day we need eight hugs. We need one hug for survival, four hugs for maintenance, but eight hugs to grow on. And that's true for ourselves as well. You know, it's good for us every once in a while to give ourselves a hug and to say, I'm good, I like me, it's good to be in my skin, it's really, I'm a good person. And so to discover the jewel inside of yourself so that you can get comfortable in your own skin and be able to share that beauty and richness with other people. I think that's what the Lord wants, uh, you know, for each of us. So uh, today, uh, discover that jewel inside of yourself. You know, make sure that that you're shining it up and be free to share it with other people. And for the top uh, uh, story that we talked about with marriage, there's just no right way for us to do the wrong thing, even though we continue to try to do that over and over, and we keep tripping over ourselves. The culture, the television, and so on promotes all of this kind of non-truth, and hopefully, and, and, and they want to end up having something good, you know, come out of it. The truth is what frees us. The truth only, huh? Veritas vos liberabit. Only the truth freeze the fruit the fruit the, fr- the fruit of the uh, uh, of, of the good actions is really a freedom huh? so good being with you again today hopefully we said something that'll touch your heart and you'll be able to share that with with others thank you god bless love you